YouTube recently banned a large community of VTubers over a trend they started on stream. And now I bet you're expecting me to follow this up by saying that it was unjust, makes no sense, is a bunch of dog shit and baloney, and demand that we go out into the streets to riot and protest. But that's not the case. This ban wave makes complete sense and is the most obvious outcome to this trend that they started. It's a trend that I'm sure none of you are familiar with because it was only big in Japan and only big in the VTuber community. It's the Splatoon 3 adult video trend. And as advertised with a title like that, it involved porn. Basically, a VTuber group called Sin Sugumi got together and hatched the novel idea of playing porn in Splatoon 3 by changing their ink transparency so that way it could work like a green screen. So during stream they could play porn over the green screened ink. And the whole competition or challenge idea was whoever could last the longest on stream without getting banned wins. So they went into this knowing full well they would be banned for it and they got exactly what they ordered. Their entree came out piping hot because they all got banned. And the Sin Sugumi official Twitter account had to come out and make a statement. All the individuals that participated so far have apologized except for like one or two. But most importantly, it brought the boogeyman out of his shadow. Nintendo came forward and made a statement about this. About how seriously they're taking this because it's such a violation of their policies. They even loosely threatened legal action against them from what I understood. Maybe it was a translation error with their, their message, but... They came out with a series of tweets letting everyone know how fucked up it was. And that's that's a big deal when Nintendo comes out and starts slinging meat. Because they are brutal. Nintendo shows no mercy. They would absolutely imprison a four-year-old if they were using the Mario license for their birthday party without official expressed consent from the Nintendo company. Like, they... They enforce their policy and their copyright and everything around Nintendo property with an iron fist. Nintendo would burn a hospital to the ground if they found an unauthorized third-party Princess Peach plushie in one of the patient's rooms. They are not a company to fuck with. And I feel like this could be a pretty bad deal for the Sin Sugumi team here if this wasn't a translation error and they actually do pursue legal action. Because Nintendo will stop at nothing. They, they will pursue you to the ends of the earth. Now I'm in no place to say whether or not this was worth it here. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But this is certainly one way of going out with a bang. This is quite the statement. Like if all of them were just tired of being a VTuber or something, this was a great way of just voiding their contract on the spot. Uh, apparently the porn they were broadcasting starred one of the VTubers in it. So I'm assuming it was just uh, like some hentai that they were putting on stream in Splatoon 3. It's an interesting idea, it's something I wouldn't have thought of, using the ink in Splatoon as a green uh, green screen. That's pretty genius. Like, you could do some really fucking banger watch parties with that, I guess. Porn is a little aggressive, but hey, you know, who am I to, who am I to judge? As of right now, that's as far as this story goes, but I'll, I'll keep my finger on the pulse of it to see exactly how it all unfolds. But there is one more thing I want to bring up, and this one's not goofy or silly or anything. This one actually has a lot of meaning to me because I was so personally attached to the property. The creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! recently passed away. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Kazuki Takahashi drowned recently this year, but today new information came to light on exactly how it happened. And it turns out the man was just a fucking saint, an actual hero. He drowned trying to save people that were caught in a dangerous riptide at the cost of his own life. An army officer came out to tell exactly what happened during the situation. So there's investigation going on for the last couple of months about like what exactly unfolded here. So it turns out what happened is three swimmers got caught in a dangerous riptide and a nearby army officer named Major Robert Bourgeau, Bour Bourgeau I'm, I already know I'm fucking the name up and I'm sorry about that. Uh, went in to try and rescue them, and Kazuki Takahashi also jumped in to try and help save them. And they were able to save all of the swimmers, but unfortunately, Takahashi drowned in the process. So, he gave his life to try and save others, and I just wanted to recognize him for the hero that he was. You don't have to look very hard to figure out that Yu-Gi-Oh! played a big part in my childhood. I mean, I have cards on my wall over here, cards over there. I watched the anime every single week that it broadcast. I was a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and still am to this day. 
He created one of my favorite franchises ever, and he was also just a great man, clearly. So I, I wanted to at least put this out here so that way everyone knew that Kazuki Takahashi was a fucking legend. And also, of course, huge hats off to uh, Major Robert here for his heroics as well. And yeah, that's really about it. See ya.